I'm not running for anything, but I approve of that message. <laughs> thanks, Captain Committee. I have, I have two really thanks. One to Title IX, because this year was the first year that girls' teams had a schedule, had a division tournament, had a championship tournament. We had paid officials, and that was a biggie. My next thanks is to that group of ladies back there. <clears throat> I'd like to introduce Juanita Kingston. Where are you? Juanita, stand up. Juanita played at the University of Arizona. She coached. She was my assistant coach. She's also a member of the Hall of Fame. And she went on to coach at Rincon, <clears throat> where her boys and her girls team won state championships. Thank you, Juanita. Nancy Galinsky, another senior who played at the university. Then uh, Nancy went on and got a, <clears throat> her, she, she had a career in nursing, worked at the U of A hospital, and is now retired. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, Annie Davenport, no, I'm sorry, Annie Robinson <clears throat> was the other senior, but she had passed away this past year. So next is Kim Durkin. Stand up, Kim. <laughs> Kim joined the Navy after school and was on active duty for five years, and she is now a lieutenant commander in the Navy Reserve. Her, she and her husband traveled around the country in their mobile home. Peggy, uh, Teresa is not here. She's a stained glass artist, and she had a show today. I'm still under five minutes. <laughs> Annette Miranda. <laughs> Annette went to Peter College and then went into retailing and worked for a uh, Broadway department store, became a district manager, and now has seminars <clears throat> for all new employees. Gail McHugh. Gail played at the University Varsity. <clears throat> Then she was a semi-pro softball player for over 10 years. Wow. She and her husband live in Phoenix. Uh, Terry Randall. Terry Randall played volleyball at Mason Community College. She got married, six children, and she's very, very, very busy with her 13 grandchildren. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Annie Davenport. <clears throat> Annie is a former member of the Pima County uh, Sports Hall of Fame. She played volleyball at the University of Arizona. She was the only uh, girl out of high school that I can remember that went that played a poor, excuse me, a pro sport. She was a member of the Tucson Sky. The professional volleyball team here. <laughs> Margaret Woods. Margaret played volleyball at the U of A and is now an elementary school teacher, but her claim to fame is she's a champion barrel racer. <laughs> Emily Smith. Now, I'm going to tell you why Emily had such a good vertical jump. She could really move. She's a ballerina. <laughs> and she traveled all over Europe and the United States <clears throat> with a ballet company and had many, many uh, star roles. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> all right, last but not least, I didn't know if she'd make it today, Dr. Mary Kay Klein. All right. She just returned this morning. <clears throat> excuse me. She just returned this morning from Lexington, Kentucky, where she received the Lifetime Achievement Award from the National Veterinary Cancers Association. <clears throat> she played at the University of Arizona and is now currently has a. She's practicing veterinary physician specializing in oncology. It's not often 
that a coach gets to work with a group of girls that love the sport, love practice, love to play, and love to compete. <clears throat> and I'm very proud to say I had that opportunity to work with this group. Thanks to these girls, women now, they made themselves, me, and their school very proud. Thank you.